Hello everyone. So now we are going to do the electrostatic potential at a point due to an electric dipole. So already we discussed the electric fields, torque, and now we are going to do electric potential or electrostatic potential at a point due to an electric dipole. Here, so here we are not going to do the electric potential value along axial or along equatorial line or equatorial plane uh, like first. What we are going to do is first we are going to find out in a random point what will be the value. Then that random point then we will be considering it for uh, axial as well as equatorial. So that's what we are going to do here. So it is this approach would be better than the other one. Okay, because anyways we have to find out what electrostatic potential due to a ran I mean due to a dipole at any point at any random point. Okay, so here let me give you a brief introduction about well, the diagram. So minus q plus q. Our beloved dipole is here, A A total to A, and the distance is R here, and this is R one and R two. What is R one and R two? So from minus Q to point from A to P or minus Q to this one, that is R two, and from plus Q to this one, R one. Okay, and R is the distance. See now, what is the identity of this point P, which is at a distance R from O? that is the center of the dipole and it makes an angle theta with the horizontal with dipole moment so i hope it is very clear okay so now as we know that electric potential is not a um, what it's not a vector quantity it is a scalar quantity so we can just add them so here the potential due to plus q and the potential due to minus q we will just add them algebra like just add them okay so now we are going to find out first step, v plus q what is the potential due to plus q right now we are going to do so how much is that 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught q divided by how much is that r1 so that is the potential because we know that what is the potential formula v is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by r electric potential due to a point charge we studied already so 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q divided by r1 is the formula v plus q and what about v minus q v minus q is equal to 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught minus q divided by r2 so that will be minus q divided by r2 because the charge is negative charge negative potential so what will be the net potential so i'll be writing here the total potential v will be equal to v plus q plus v minus q so net value will be 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught q divided by r1 minus q divided by r2 so you can take a q outside so it would be v is equal to 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon 0 q into 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2 so this is my equation number one so you must be thinking that okay this is the equation is done right no actually there is a problem what is that r1 and r2 are like two random values right so we want to convert that r1 and r2 into what the identity of this point p what are what are the identities r and the theta I just want to convert these values into R, R1 and R2, I want to convert into R and theta. So for that, what method we are going to use? So those who studied maths very well, so you know that we can use cosine rule here. So how do you do cosine rule? So what is, what is the general equation of cosine rule? I'll be giving here, look at this, let's say there is a triangle, a random triangle is here. And this angle is equal to theta. This angle is equal to theta. So let's say uh, this is A, B and C. So cosine rule says that A square, so I'll be writing with this color, look at this. A square is equal to B square plus C square minus 2BC cos theta. So what is, what is the equation? 
a square plus b square, that is this side square plus this side square, a square plus b square minus 2bc cos theta. That is the cosine rule. We are going to apply cosine rule in both the triangles. Triangle, this triangle, as well as we are going to apply about this triangle. Okay, so first I'll, I'll be doing it for R1, then I'll be doing it for R2. So what will be R1? So I'll, let me make it here itself, then I can go down. R1 square is equal to R square plus A square, this side A square, minus 2AR into cos theta, correct? So I can, I can write it, so by, I can write by cosine rule, by cosine rule I can say, so R1 square is equal to R square plus A square minus 2AR cos theta. So this is the another equation is very important. So now I can I can write it as look at this R1 square is equal to R square I'm taking outside. So it will be look at this 1 plus A square divided by R square minus Look at this 2AR cos theta. I'm going to take R square outside. So it will be 2A by R cos theta. Right? So that will be the equation. So I can write it as, look at this, R1 square is equal to, see, R1 square is equal to, so this R square, let it be there, and into, what is A square by R square? A square by R square will be nearly equal to 0. Why? Why it is nearly equal to 0? Because you know very well, a is very less than a is less than r and a square will be less very very less than r square so a square by r square will be nearly equal to zero so that approximation i'm taking here so my equation will be r square into one minus i'm sorry one minus two a by r cos theta so this will be the equation now you take the square root on both sides so it will be R1 is equal to R into 1 minus 2A by R cos theta, the whole raised to 1 by 2. I took the square root on both sides. Is it clear? Now, let me ask you a question. Look at this. What will be 1 by R1? Because I don't want R1. I want 1 by R1. Right. So, it will be 1 by R into 1 minus 2A by R cos theta the whole raised to minus 1 by 2. See, just when you take the reciprocal, it will be minus 1 by 2. Not up, not up. So that is equal to, what that is 1 by R1 is equal to 1 by R into, yes. Here approximation number 2. Next approximation, that is, we know that 1 plus x the whole raised to n is nearly equal to 1 plus nx. Or 1 minus x the whole raised to n will be equal to 1 minus nx. Why? This is a binomial approximation we take. Provided modulus of x should be less than 1. So here 2a by r is already less than 1. Why? Because a is less than, very very less than r. So I can write it as, this I can write in the same way. 1 minus, see 1 minus 1 by 2 you multiply here. So, it will be plus 1 by 2. So, 1 by 2 into 2a by r cos theta. So, minus into minus plus. So, that, that's it. So, then 2, 2 again cancel each other. So, what will be the value? 1 by r1 is equal to 1 by r into 1 plus a by r cos theta. Yes. So, this is my, my final equation that I want. Look at this. Yes, this is my final equation. I consider it a second equation. Now, if you apply the same situation, same conditions by cosine rule in the second one. Look at this. I'm going to do it. I'm, I'm not going to do it again. So, I want you to do it. So, you have to apply the equation. Look at this. Here, R2 square equation. You can apply cosine rule. What is that? R2 square is equal to r square plus a square yes minus 2 a r into cos 180 minus theta so how much is cos 180 minus theta it is minus cos theta so apparently that this term will become plus correct so then 
then if you apply the same approximations and same conditions over here, finally you will get an equation 1 by R2 will be equal to 1 by R into 1 minus A by R cos theta you will be getting. So this is my third equation. So I hope you understood it very clearly and those who haven't understood, no problem, no problem. You can actually do it again. The same steps you can follow and you can get it. Now you look at this, our first equation, the important equation is here and in that 1 by R1, 1 by R2 are there. You substitute over there, you will get the answer. So I am going to substitute there. So what, what was my V? Let me write it again. 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q into 1 by R1 minus 1 by R2. So you can just substitute for 1 by R1 and 1 by R2. I will be doing it. V is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into SQ into 1 by R1. What is 1 by R1? That is already there. 1 by R plus A by R square. I just multiplied 1 by R inside. Okay. A by R square into cos theta minus. Now 1 by R2 you, you can write 1 by R square. Yes plus a by r because minus of minus plus plus a by r r square into cos theta so that will be the value so now you can you can see that here 1 by r well here 1 by r sorry sorry here 1 by r only will be there no 1 by r square so this 1 by r 1 by r will get cancelled each other so then what will be the remaining value v will be equal to 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught Q into, look at this, A by R square cos theta plus A by R square cos theta, 2A by R square into cos theta. Okay, so now you can see that V is equal to, so 1 R divided by 4 pi epsilon naught, 2 into Q into 2A, Q into 2A divided by R square into cos theta. So let me ask you a question, what is Q into 2A? What is Q into 2A? So Q into 2A is nothing but it is P. So you can substitute over there. V is equal to, so final formula, 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught. Q into 2A is P divided by R square into cos theta. So this is the formula. Look at this. This is the final result. This is the final formula for what? For the potential due to at any random point. Sorry, potential at any random point due to an electric dipole. So this is the formula.